Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to ABB webinar series, Reliable, Flexible and Sustainable Food and Beverage. My name is Tatiana Milenovic. I'm leading food and beverage globally for ABB, and today will be your host in this exciting session. Thank you for joining webinar, Mission to Zero, the path to sustainable food production, reducing energy cost and emissions. With Raymond Liao, Head of Digital Energy Industries Asia, and Jörg Ort, Head of Competence Center Optimization. The presentation will take 45 minutes, followed by 15 minutes Q&A session. For your convenience and to avoid disturbances during the presentation, your lines will be muted. However, we would love to hear from you during the presentation. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to submit them at any time during the webinar through the chat function or in the Q&A section of the WebEx tool. Your questions will be answered at the end of the session. If there will be some not answered due to time limitation, we will follow up with you and make sure the answers are delivered. The session will be recorded and later shared together with the presentation material on our website, so you can share it with colleagues who were not able to join us today. With that, I'd like to hand over to Raymond and Jörg. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Tajana, for the opening brief and introduction. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and uh, welcome everyone, and thank you for joining us for today's webinar. I am Raymond Liao. I'm the digital lead for Asia for, of ABB Energy Industries, and I have the pleasure to be with you today and with my colleagues here. Now, as we finally want to kick it off, um, let's have a look into the industry is facing these days. Ultimately, entering into a sustainable production is on all our agenda today. And it is not just the monetary impact, um, it's not just about need to avoid peak demands. Uh, it, obviously, it is essential to avoid expensive energy bills and eventually energy costs always as a prioritized topic in many organizations. So the overall goal, the end game, is to manage and provision energy from the very dif uh, from different sources and also all to to the providers in order to optimize energy consumption and to achieve environmental friendly and profitable sustainable production. With that, um, I would like to present to you um, three challenges. Right? Broadly speaking, we reckon uh, the three common challenges of optimizing energy consumption. Uh, first is lack of visibility. Without the visibility into operations, it is impossible to plan, and predict, and to comply. Uh, in some countries, uh, comply with government green mandates and that require uh, to control and op uh, reporting functions. And I know in some countries in, uh, in, in our region and in, in various regions, this mandate is in place and enforced. And we foresee more and more countries will implement similar mandates uh, for visibility. And the next one is high energy costs um, and the impact on the bottom line. Inefficiency is in single or multiple sites operation, waste money, uh, uh, undercut the goal of sustainable practices for certain setup, not being able to participate in competitive wholesale, wholesale marketing, uh, wholesale energy markets means that selling excess energy that, uh, that is available uh, at the most uh, favorable, favorable rates is very difficult, right? Because of the uh, visibility, because of the, 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 the understanding of the operation and that impact the bottom line as well, right? So we do see this uh, very common challenges uh, and whenever we talk to our customers, engage with them in this topic, these three always appear uh, in, in our conversation today. Right? And that brings us to um, an introduction of, 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 of a solution called ABB Ability Energy Management. So the cornerstone is the ABB Ability Energy Management solution called Optimax. So Optimax 
It's a proven solution in many applications and hardened in the tough and cost sensitive environment in our environment, in, uh, in our industries today. And this is industrial grid uh, and with a modern architecture design that can be fitted into most automation or energy system based environment. Essentially, we design Optimax with the following capabilities to suit various uh, needs. On the left side of the screen, we have Optimax VPP, um, short form uh, for virtual power plants. Uh, specifically look into the area of how we coordinate network generations by creating virtual power pool or virtual power plants, optimize points of connected units and grid service delivery, and also enable trading, enable trading uh, of power plants and generation units and energy storage and controllable loads. So on the right hand side of the screen, uh, you, we have an Optimax for industrial and commercials. And this is the topic today. And we will be uh, diving into, uh, into this uh, a little bit uh, detail. And specifically for this Optimax for industrial and, commer and commercials, we look into maximizing generation consumption uh, to reduce energy costs and minimize emissions. So look into this a bit deeper, uh, the value proposition of Optimax for industrials and commercial, it is providing the, the, cap the capability to forecast and optimize those, right? we call distributed energy resources, right? DERS, and loads, looking into how we uh, provide that, that capability to manage cross vectors of energy sources and integrate this uh, with uh, aggregators uh, at times when it's a requirement um, and utilities uh, for trading and billing uh, purposes. And with two main goal here is one is to help our organization to reduce costs. And often we see five to 10% as an average uh, cost reduction from an energy consumption perspective. And on the other hand, emission uh, efficiency enable our customers to integrate, integrate more renewables uh, and, and minimize the use of uh, CO, costly CO2 uh, um, kind of an energy source uh, without risking reliability and, and grid stability and grid compliance. So at this point, um, I really uh, think that this is a very exciting topic today, and uh, we are very excited to be sharing more with you. Uh, and we will go into a bit deep dive uh, in the solution overview. And I'd like to invite my colleague, uh, Jörg, to dive into the Optimax solution uh, with, with you. And Jörg, over to you, please. So before we uh, we look at this solution itself, so let's first have a look at a typical uh, food and beverage industrial site, or uh, in general industrial site. So uh, you may find in each in each site some something like a grid connection where you import the energy. We we see in every industrial side we see of course the production processes we see some administration buildings we, we, we have logistic warehouse and we have several production lines so these are basically these are the consumers we are talking about in in a, in a production site and then we we may see in 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 many plants we see some on-site generation like a diesel generator a, a gas turbine with a, a heat recovery steam generator to produce steam and hot water uh, or a chp uh, a, a gas motor chp or something like that or even uh, ga gas boilers electrical boilers and nowadays, of course, we all often see also solar generation to produce uh, renewable energy. And in future, it, uh, uh, a battery storage might be added or 
the employees or the logistics may use uh, ele uh, electric vehicles which have to be charged so this is the uh, this is the environment uh, which uh, forms the the electrical or the energy system of of such a plant and now the question is uh, can you run all these items separately or do we need something that coordinates everything and what we see is that you need a smart energy management system to coordinate all these things in a way so that you achieve minimum emissions and you achieve minimum energy cost next please so how we address this with optimax so uh, optimax is a software solution that connects all the assets you see this on the right side uh, in this example we show on this slide some some examples we connect please go back so you see that we connect we connect uh, for example a solar a solar plant we connect the battery system chargers the building automation the combined heat and power plant to the system and then the system gets the real time well the real time operational values from the system and also sends out uh, set points to the systems to control everything uh, the the software solution is is uh, is enabled to uh, allow cross vector optimization so we, we don't talk uh, only about uh, electrical power we also talk about uh, uh, steam and uh, uh, and uh, hvac and and water so we can combine everything in this in the model of the system to optimize overall the energy cost and the emissions we to do this, we uh, we are enabled to uh, to look into future to forecast to forecast, uh, for example, the uh, <coughs> the consumption of the production. We can forecast the the renewable uh, product uh, generation, and using this forecast, we can we can use storages and all the assets in an optimal way to connect the assets uh, we have uh, render agnostic communication standards so we using standard protocols standard interfaces which are proven examples for that are opc ua modbus tcp ocpp for the chargers or sunspec for the uh, for solar inverters Next slide, please. So we, the, the Optimax solution is structured in several modules. Uh, in the base package, we have actually three modules. One is monitoring and reporting. So uh, this gives you the, uh, the possibility to to look at all the data which is relevant for your energy system. So we we get the data from the assets connected, we store the data and then visualize the data. And then we have uh, we have screens to monitor all the data and uh, you can create uh, meaningful KPIs to, uh, to see what is the efficiency, what is the performance of the plant and all this you can combine in reports and then uh, and then uh, uh, have your and, and then automize your your reporting tasks with this now the second the second module this is the core of the system so based on the data we get from the assets and from forecasts and so on we do uh, an optimization optimization means that we coordinate everything in a in an optimal way in real time 
to to have the most efficient operation of the of your plant. Uh, we do this on site level, or we do this on a multi-site level. So then the next module is is the is the intraday and the head optimization. So in the intraday and the head optimization, we we don't do it in real time. We we do it in we do it in uh, in a in a in a forecast way. So we, we calculate an optimal schedule to find, for example, the optimal loading or the optimal state of charge of a, of a battery system or, or other processes. Uh, so we, that allows us to shift, to shift loads, to avoid peaks. Uh, and it, it also allows us to uh, to uh, estimate the, the flexibility of the plant, which is necessary if we uh, if you want to know how many uh, how how much energy energy we can export to uh, to an aggregator, for example. So then we have uh, another module which is optional. Um, this is the forecasting module. So we can in the base module we can import forecasts uh, from an external system or we can do the uh, the forecasting with this option we can we can do it in in, in the optimum system we have uh, simple versions and we have also uh, artificial intelligence based enhanced forecasting and, and services and then the last option the fifth option is that we we can use the optimax also not only for a single site, so, but also for multi-sites to allow you to optimize your energy system on an enterprise level with several production plants, <coughs> several locations. So uh, let's look at the value proposition again. So we have uh, we have one, which is the energy optimization itself. So we we generate optimal schedules based on production schedules, energy requirements of the processes, the energy prices. So we can we can consider variable variable uh, energy prices. Uh, considering the, the generation assets on site and maybe also transition costs between different processes and products. So secondly, uh, we have an advanced monitoring and reporting tool to create visibility that allows you to uh, to see what is going on in your different processes, how much energy, for example, you produce, uh, you, you need per product you, produ you are producing. Uh, and we, we, it allows also to, to compare energy in a, in a general sense, heat, steam, or electricity usage between different time, frame, time frames and also different plants. So when, and and also uh, we allow multi energy optimization. That means we, we not only look at the at, uh, at the electricity, but we also look at at the combination of electricity and 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 heat production. For example, if you have a CHP plant, if you produce steam, you you also produce electricity and there is an, an optimum when it makes sense to start the, the CHP or use just an, an, a gas boiler or when it makes sense to, to, to stop the CHP. So from our experience, uh, next please. We see for the energy optimization, we see typically in projects, cost reductions up to 10%. For the uh, proof of energy efficiency improvements for reporting, we see also uh, 
we see, we see savings of 200 hours per, per month. And for the uh, multi-energy optimization, we, we see additional benefits of uh, also uh, up to 10%. So now, uh, just have a, a short look at the uh, at the screens we provide with uh, with Optimax. So for time reasons, we will not go into a, a real demo system. So this is a this is the uh, <clears throat> the main the main display of the Optimax system. You see a Sansi diagram that shows you the energy flows. So on the left side, you see uh, on the left side you see the generation. The energy generation, and on the right side you see the consumer. In in this example, uh, we see uh, the production as the as the main consumer, then the administration, the logistics building, and so on. On the on the top, you see uh, some some meaningful uh, KPIs. For example, the uh, the grid independency, that means how much you put, you're producing yourself, how much you have to import. So uh, how, how much renewable energy are you using? Then if you go in the middle, you see the, uh, the savings of CO2 you have achieved since start of operation of the system. And uh, yeah, you see also some some KPIs uh, addressing uh, your your current energy price and and your current energy cost. So in the next slide, we see we see an example of a of a reporting dashboard. So you are able with this dashboard, you are able to to create. The dashboard you need for your reporting, you can. Uh, we deliver a standard package, but you can yourself or yourself or your your integrator can adjust it, can adapt it to your specific needs. So and then we have. Uh, extensive features to uh, to to look at the energy system to see what is going on what you see here is uh, a forecasting display and on this display you can see how your your individual assets are used how how the uh, the uh, the uh, renewable energy uh, production is forecasted and how the battery is used, how the, the boilers are used and so on. Yeah, to summarize, uh, imagine you have such a system and uh, you can reduce your your the emissions of your production. You have uh, you can you can integrate your electricity production, your 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 steam production, and and your process loads. And yeah, the carbon tax does not affect you. So this is a, a vision. This is an imagination. And we made this real. We, we turned it, this vision to a mission. And now have, let's let's have a look at the examples where we have implemented the, uh, the system. So <clears throat> the first example we, we show you here is our own ADB production site at Lütenscheid in Germany. Here we implemented a mission to zero project, which which has the target long term to make the, the, the factory grid independent to uh, to produce all electricity and energy on the site and produce it in a in a in a way with zero emissions. That's the target here. 
And in this step, uh, it was decided to install uh, a solar plant on the uh, on top of the, the parking area. You see this on the on the right side here. So this is the parking area for the employees, and we put this uh, this solar plant on it. Uh, then we installed uh, a bus system, a battery energy storage system to uh, to store the the, uh, the solar for the solar energy in case you we have an excess of energy and we don't need this energy for the production. <coughs> we we integrated an already in existing uh, CHP that uh, also produces uh, some, some electrical energy on site and produces uh, hot uh, uh, thermal, uh, thermal uh, uh, energy. And we also, uh, we also uh, looked at the, uh, at the cars of the employees and provided them uh, charging stations to, uh, to charge their electric cars. So now when, when this investment has been discussed, it, it became obvious that uh, we need some intelligence to coordinate all, all this. And therefore the Optimax came in here. And the Optimax is controlling all this, this stuff. And uh, yeah, you can say the Optimax is the brain of this uh, installation. So the... Uh, the results we achieved uh, with this installation is uh, that we we saved we save 630 tons CO2 per year. Uh, just to, to, to take some highlights, we uh, we maximize the the usage of the uh, of the solar production on site because it's it's better to use the solar production in your plant instead of feeding in because the feeding in price is worse than the uh, purchase price for energy. So uh, uh, then we, we save time for reporting for the uh, energy manager. And uh, he, he estimated after after having this, this system in place, he, he estimates that he can save 20 hours per month. So uh, we have reduced the, the CO2 production, as already said, 600 tons per year. And we re reduced the energy cost of the, of the, of the whole supply of the, of the plant by 4.2%. And this is not the, the saving by usage of the, of the solar plant or something like that. It's the additional saving we achieved using the Optimax compared to uh, an operation where we don't have the Optimax system. And uh, we, also, uh, we also brought in a partner uh, that, uh, that delivers the remaining energy, which we cannot produce on our own uh this uh, uh with a green certificate so uh the uh the energy which cannot be produced on, on its own on the plant is imported from uh this service supplier energy as a service supplier mvv and these guys are providing green green uh, electricity so that means electricity which is produced somewhere else uh, re uh by renewable uh generation assets. And uh, we also, uh, <clears throat> we also uh, uh, achieved that we can, if we have an excess of energy in the plant, so we, want, we are producing more than we can consume, then we can sell this, this uh, excess of energy uh, through this uh, uh, energy as a service provider. And this gives us an additional income of 2.2 to 5 percent of the energy cost in total. So, if if you want, you can say the energy cost reduction by the system is 4.2 percent plus the 
two to to five percent additional income by marketing of or by trading of the flexibility of the plant. So we have uh, here some other uh, examples, and uh, uh, Raymond, please please continue to show these examples. Thank you, thank you, Jörg. Um So the next project that we have done is um, a single site production plant in Southeast Asia, uh, specifically in Thailand. Uh, so this is a fairly recent setup that we have achieved. Um, the vision for this facility is achieve mission zero, right? So um, it's very similar to the objective uh, all of us are, uh, are looking uh, uh, forward. As the first step, the immediate goal for this customer is to pilot the concept of max grid independence, right? So really want to make sure they can be self-sufficient and uh, reduce emission. So ABB provided a turnkey solution in this case to look after the requirement of multiple distributed energy resources uh, and help them to uh, visualize it and optimize it. So there's a great connection here in a nutshell in this uh, in this project, and it has a PV, um, and and that's supplied by ABB. There's a solar uh, system there and the best. Right? So there's a battery energy storage system as well for this single site facility, and we are setting up a traffic lights. Uh, what's interesting here is we put a traffic lights uh, uh, into the system uh, to allow the customer to have um, a better uh, management of uh, of the energy to avoid peak loads, right? So they uh, they try to avoid the uh, tapping the the peak uh, from the grid uh, from from uh, from uh, from from expensive um, uh, uh, energy cost perspective. They try to avoid that using ABB Optimax to balance between the generations and the grid supply and the consumption. On the other hand. So this is a very um, a new project, um, a small pilot setup, and we are looking into expanding it from single site to multiple site, and we are talking about in the range of 20 to 50 sites with a similar fashion, uh, with, with a similar objective uh, to max grid independence, um, and also to reduce CO2 emissions for uh, this specific customer in Thailand. This is very exciting uh, job for uh, Asia team that we are uh, able to participate with our customers and and we are looking into um, repeat this uh, whether it is um, in the single site uh, if it's in the food and beverage environment you could have a very different subcategory of production facility uh, but the concept and the, the fundamentals is very similar uh, looking into the energy management. From, the, from that perspective. And the next project that uh, I would uh, like to uh, talk about is very interesting. And this is a building complex virtual power pool project, and it is in Japan. Right? So this project is um, uh, looking into very similar concept as we have described uh, from Jörg and then also from the previous example uh, in Thailand. The fundamental concept objective is exactly, almost exactly, uh, in, in, as in any other production environment in our industries today, and which also share similar challenges, right? So our customer is looking for a solution to uh, better visualize the, uh, the consumption and better manage the distributed uh, energy resources, including uh, the, uh, the, the HVAC, right? So, and in this case, uh, and the energy consumption to be uh, to manage the loads from the EV charging as well. In this project, ABB Optimax solution is again balancing the generation sources and the demand consumption uh, uh, for the building complex. And we do have another example, and this is um, um, a pretty established example. And this project is a small wood manufacturing in Germany. And the objective for this customer is to have a very high grid, very, very high grid dependencies, independencies, which means a maximum self supply and to reduce the CO2 emission as much as possible. So the setup for this uh, is very similar, uh, again, uh, to 
the Ludenshine example that I have described by uh, Yerk earlier. Um, and there is, of course, a grid connection. Uh, we have PV on the rooftop. And the battery storage system uh, was installed here in this facility. Uh, and there are charges, uh, the charges for the EVs. And we have about 90 machines in, at the site uh, being managed and they, they are consuming energies. So Optimax, ABB Optimax Energy Management Solution is again balancing out between generations, the grid supply. On the other hand, consumption on, uh, and, and optimization. So we ensure grid compliance in this case and help avoid peaks, avoid high energy uh, costs, uh, and that is peak, uh, peak loads, right? And the PV installation produced roughly about 200 uh, uh, kilowatts and con in combination with the battery storage leads to an increased self consumption rate and helps avoid about 100 ton uh, of CO2 emissions. That is something that we uh, are constantly looking at, uh, look at managing with the customers. And those are the benefits that we, we see and we both realize uh, it's deemed to be a very successful uh, project and um, happy to share this more uh, if you do have more uh, questions on this um, project. And the last project that I'd like to share is a research project. So this is a research project together with a local energy provider in Germany uh, and with a, a land machines manufacturer. So the setup on the production side, basically the same as the others that we have just showcased, uh, extended by a small power to heat unit and controllable loads. And we have milk tank, uh, we have uh, cooling, we have stirrer, we have uh, building automations, all in combined uh, in one facility in this smart farm. And the objective of, uh, of ABB uh, and the customer is to um, help to um, maximize the internal power supply uh, and usage, right? So ABB Optimax solution is providing the intraday and the day ahead forecast in this case for uh, this uh, smart farm uh, research project while considering the respective pricing model. So we are analyzing the pricing models and we are looking into the day, intraday, day ahead forecast and optimize it uh, with those information also attempt to reduce and avoid peaks uh, at the same time, right? And we, uh, the objective is together, we want to uh, increase the degree of self-consumption uh, and closing the loop uh, and with real-time controlling uh, and calculating flexibility uh, to be offered uh, to the energy market via the local supplier that I just mentioned, right? As you can see from the figure of self-consumption rate, it was increased. Right? It was um, now uh, from 50 plus. Now uh, it is increased up to uh, almost 60. And the grid purchase went down respectively. So they 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 buy energy less now because they they are self sufficient, right? They are managing their they're optimizing their their, their own energy uh, resources. Uh, and so to uh, help to relate uh, to to the reduction of costs in this uh, perspective. Um, so that's really what we have uh, as uh, references and some of those, as you may notice, that we also provide links, we also provide uh, additional uh, information references, and uh, I, we would encourage you to uh, click on those links and the presentation file will be shared to all of you uh, and to figure out more about the details of this setup here, right? Uh, so like in a nutshell, uh, ABB Optimax Energy Management Solution as a, as a, as a solution itself is, is the brain of the energy system. And be it an enterprise with a number of location or a single site, a single facility, or even building complex that we have uh, showcased just now, or a small farm, right? Um, it is uh, regardless of this, the setup environment and facility and scope, uh, this ABB, uh, Optimax solution will, will fit in, will fit into the configuration. So if you need a, a brain to manage the energy situation in your facility today, uh, please don't hesitate to contact us. And meanwhile, um, they, 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 we live, we live uh, away um, 
a QR code here for you to um, uh, obtain more information. This will lead you to an ABB, uh, a very specific site of the energy um, uh, management of the Max ABB of the Max solution, and for you to to capture more information there. So with that, um, I would like to pass the floor back to our host Tajana uh, yep. for Q and A session. Thank you. Excellent. So thank thank you, Raymond. Thank you, Jörg. It's time now for Q and A session. Please type your questions to the chat window or Q and A section of the WebEx tool. All right, so let us start with the first one. So how long it takes to implement such project and can it be done in steps? What would be your recommendation? Uh, I, I'll take this question. So, what is the uh, what is the duration of an implementation project? Uh, I mean, it depends on the uh, on the situation on site, and it depends on uh, if there are uh, procurement of uh, of uh, new equipment involved. For example, if you if you install if you if you uh, have a, a project that uh, covers. The, uh, the installation of a PV or a battery and the Optimax system. I mean the uh, of, uh, the, the the solar uh, installation or the battery uh, uh, lead time is is the uh, is the is the factor for the project. If you have a just a standalone Optimax project, I would say you need uh, we need. Uh, at the beginning, we, we will have a phase where we define a function design specification, where we define the interfaces to your plan. This takes about, uh, let's say, four weeks. Uh, we need uh, then we need, uh, let's say, uh, let's say two weeks to, to, to set up the system. And then we have another period of, let's say, two to four, uh, four weeks. It depends on your operation uh, to commission the, the system. But uh, it depends on the on the complexity and the uh, and the uh, some, some 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 constraints we have, uh, specifically uh, the availability of the interfaces to your assets. Uh, then the second part of the question was, uh, can we can you implement this in several steps? Yes, you can do it. Uh, so in the first step, you could. Uh, you could just uh, uh, set up uh, the Optimax system to uh, to interface to your assets and then collect the data from the assets and then start with analyzing the data and find uh, find different options to optimize in the first step and then then start the second step and start thinking about how how we can optimize your your operation. Very good. Thank you, Jörg. So let us move to the next one. So what would be the return on investment, the typical or average one? I, um, Tajana, I can take this. So um, a typical return on investment depends on the scope and uh, the requirement of the customers. But we see an average of uh, from uh, five to ten percent of energy savings, the cost savings. But nevertheless, we have um, our our team here. We have developed uh, some calculators that we can help our customer to qualify, quantify the, uh, the the scope environment and requirement, and to give them a predetermination of the projected savings. So um, it, it could be some, at top, at, again, uh, depending on the scope and requirement, it could be uh, a minimum uh, from, from five to 10, as we've seen it as a typical or a beyond and uh, much beyond. And with the consideration of uh, other factors like, uh, you know, emission tax uh, and also the peak uh, calculation varies from the different uh, suppliers. So uh, all in all, I believe uh, the, the energy project is always at the, uh, it has a very, very short ROI, very short uh, ROI, and we do see 
um, most of the customer uh, within two years, they realize the ROI and some it's as quickly as one year. Very good. Thank you, Raymond. So the next question is about data. So where is the data residing and who owns the data? I take this. Uh, <laughs> so uh, the, uh, the nice feature of the Optimax system is that we can install it on, on your site on, on edge. That means we are installing a computer on in your plant that uh, hosts the Optimax. And then in that case, you own the data. The data is in your site. It, it's remaining in your site. The other, the other way around is that we, uh, we run it in a cloud. And all in the cloud, the same. The data is owned by you. But of course, the data is outside of your plant. It's, it's in the cloud. But uh, we, we ensure legally and technically that the data is, in all cases, it's owned by you. So uh, your data is secure. However, if you have doubts to, uh, or you are uh, reluctant to, to give the data outside your, your plant, then the Optimax has the possibility to, to run on-site. So this is, a, this is a nice feature of the solution that we can run it in the same way in the cloud or on-site. Excellent. So then we have a next one. Um, could you please elaborate a little bit more on the benefits for the plants? I, I'll take this. Um, in uh, from from uh, from a high level perspective and overview that we have seen from uh, our session, most of the customer do realize the high le high level benefits of cost savings from the energy perspective, uh, and also uh, a CO two uh, uh, reduction uh, emission management. Uh, but more to it, if you uh, dive a bit uh, deeper, and uh, it is also a huge value in. Uh, uh, putting those energy consumption pattern and energy uh, data and visualize, uh, vir uh, visualize it and for you to have a better reporting and better understanding and better planning of your uh, production. So that is uh, a, a very quick uh, key takeaway for our customers. And when we put up the system immediately, the first thing uh, we observe that they say, wow, this is something we have not seen before. And I know now how I, uh, where are the sources of energy and how they came in and then where is it go now? Uh, I believe one good example is uh, from the um, interface that uh, Yerk have shown just now where we have this uh, Zangi diagram uh, where it, it plan out all the information uh, in almost real time uh, for customers to, uh, the, to uh, visualize and to plan along with the KPI that we can configure uh, for their uh, uh, usage. For example, the cost of energy, uh, various sorts of the cost of the different types of energies and uh, the, the CO2 uh, uh, target and obviously the others, uh, other asset metrics all would be uh, grouped under um, uh, uh, visualization, right? And on top of that, obviously the objective is to look into how we save, uh, how we look into uh, optimized costs uh, in, the, in, the, in the production environment. So that is something we have seen over and over again in our in, in deployments, uh, our projects. Uh, and I believe some customer are looking into, especially the multi-site customers are looking into uh, a greater uh, uh, visibility uh, of multi-site benchmark comparison, right? Uh, when they group it into one uh, interface, they would be able to uh, perform a better analysis of their plant performance in, uh, in, in the energy management perspective. So those are the um, very, I would say, uh, very visible benefits and, and value of deploying ABB Optimax energy solution. All right. So we do not have further questions, but maybe last messages from you, Raymond, Jörg, 
anything to add as a closing? Well, yes, uh, thank you, Tajana. So I think in closing, I would just like to repeat uh, what I have mentioned. I believe um, uh, ABB Optimax as an energy management system is the brain of the energy system in our industry, uh, be it you know, single site, be it uh, uh, you know, multi-site facility or, or farm, and you've seen a building complex example just now. Um, so if, if you need a brain, to manage this uh, energy situation in your in your company, please reach out to any one of us. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we are now at the end of the webinar. Thank you all for attending. Thank you to presenters and see you next time. Goodbye.